Hi everyone, this is Lizzie, and today I have a masculine congratulatory card to share with you. I used some of the awesome Lawn Fawn inks to watercolor the cute images from the Let's Barbecue stamp set. I think this is one of my favorite stamp sets from the summer release. So I picked a couple of the smaller images and I mounted them on an acrylic block. I'm going to be making my own pattern paper. So I'll be using some jet black archival ink since I'll be using watercolor to color in the images and I am stamping that on some Tim Holtz watercolor paper. And you can see I didn't press down very well on that hot dog image. I'll go back and re-stamp that with uh, just the hot dog image and that of course is the great thing about clear stamps is you can sort of get a do-over when you make those mistakes so that wasn't a big deal to fix. So I'm going to finish filling in the background with the uh, four images and then I picked one of the smaller images, the mushroom stamp set, or mushroom stamp from the set, and I'm just filling in some of that white space so it doesn't look so empty. So now that my background is complete, I can go ahead and get started watercoloring. Before I actually apply any of the color to the paper, what I'll be doing is applying the water just to the portion of the images that I want to color in. So that way the water can do a lot of the work for me. So as you can see, I'm applying the uh, ink to just one side of the image and it sort of bleeds over to the other side. So I get that darkness on the one side and the lightness on the other side to really give the image a lot of dimension and I really didn't have to do much work for that because the water did all the work for me. So I'm just going to finish filling in my ketchup bottles and then I will also, I think off camera, I quickly filled in the ketchup on the hot dogs uh, using the same process and then I'm going to quickly heat set that before I smear all the ink when I move on to the next portion. So now I'm taking some of the brown ink and I off camera, I, I wet everything, the handles, all those handles, I wet those before and then using the same process, I'm applying the ink. And I'll go ahead and do that for the rest of the images. Now for that hot dog bun, I wanted a sort of you know yellowish brown color. So I mixed uh, the sunshine yellow ink and the brown ink and that kind of came out with a good sort of hot dog bun color, I thought. So I'll go ahead and finish doing that and then I will move on to using the black ink to sort of make the steel on the spatulas and those uh, fork things. Now for the mushrooms, I wanted them to appear a little bit more white than a brown color, so I took some very dilute black ink and just sort of created a shadow, so a dark side on one side of the mushroom and then let that fade to light, and then I dabbed it away, took some of that color away with a dry paper towel, and it just gives the mushrooms a little bit of dimension. And for the hot dog, I mixed some red ink and some brown ink, and that sort of gave a good hot dog color. So there you can see the watercolored background that we did. It's a little bit imperfect, but um, I think that's the great thing about watercolor is it can be a little bit imperfect and, and still look nice. So I went ahead and I did the same process using the grill and the other images that you see to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling my card. So I've glued the background panel onto some patterned paper. And then I'm going to be using some vellum to sort of diffuse the background. I thought it was a little bit bright and it sort of took away from the sentiment. So I thought the vellum was a nice uh, sort of element to sort of mute the background. 
And so that sentiment that you see up in the corner, that was just my practice sentiment, but this is the real one. So I have a piece of gray cardstock, and I went ahead and used one of the new stitched border dies. I really, really like those dies. They really give a nice finishing edge to this strip. And then I used some of Clark's ABCs to stamp my sentiment with some Versamark ink, and I will use some white heat embossing powder and heat that up with my heat gun. So I trim that sentiment strip down to size so that it fits at a at an angle, just to give the card a little bit of a little interest. And then I adhere the grill with some liquid glue, and I used one of my acrylic blocks to really kind of push it down, make sure that it uh, stayed really well. And then I used the new congrats con or congrats die, which I die cut three times out of some white cardstock and adhered all those pieces together so it gives a nice dimensional sentiment. And then I will go ahead and adhere that in place. And to finish setting my scene, I will adhere the hot dog down, which I use some red and brown ink to color. And then I will adhere the flames, which I use some yellow and red ink to sort of make that orangey color. And I had seen a card that Shari had done recently where she put the flames behind the grill. I really liked the look of that. I thought that gave the grill a lot of extra interest. So I thought I would use that on my card as well and then finish off the card with the fork in the hot dog. So here's the finished card. I had a lot of fun watercoloring the images in the stamp set. I hope you feel inspired to try some simple watercoloring too. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.